Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. My name is Pastor Merlin Boyd, and my channel is called Nuggets for Life. And um, I have a word for you today. But first, could you please share the video? Subscribe, thumbs up, write a comment, and even tell me where, you, where you're listening from. So today, um, let's go to John. Uh, let's go to John 11, 1 through 30, 1 through 44. And my topic is, it will live again. Lazarus was very sick, but Jesus took his time about coming to see about Lazarus. Lazarus was Jesus' good friend. Mary and Martha, they, they were good friends. But Jesus decided that I'm going to wait before I go to see about my friend Lazarus. And so Lazarus, he waited an extra two days. By now, Lazarus is dead and stinking and in the grave. When the sisters had sent for him, he was alive. Have you ever prayed for something and waited on God to come and it seems he didn't come when you asked him to. And so you get a little teary-eyed. You get a little worried. You get a little upset because you felt that you prayed and it was important to you that Jesus come. And see about your situation. But saints. Jesus decided. I'm not coming. Not right now. I need to wait till the situation is dead. I need to wait. The disciples. Was thinking well, why aren't you going now. And anyway, why would you even go there? Because you've been ran away from there. You shouldn't even go back there. He says, he's, he's asleep. He's not dead. He's going to be all right. So Jesus waits. And two days goes by. And then he decides to go check on his best friend, Lazarus. Martha, the sister, she meets him. And she's crying. And she said, Jesus, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Jesus said, he's going to be all right. And they're crying and they're upset. Mary and Martha, the two sisters, they don't understand why Jesus would allow their son, allow their brother to die, allow their friend to die. They don't understand. Some of us don't understand why Jesus would allow our situation to die before coming. A lot of us don't understand why Jesus allowed our loved ones to die. Some of us don't understand why Jesus would let the lights go off. Why didn't he come before they went off? Some of us don't understand why wouldn't Jesus give me my rent money? my mortgage payment. Why did he allow me to lose my house or my apartment? Why would he allow me to lose my car, my car insurance? Why would he allow me to go without food? Why? And I find that people get angry and they're upset because if you had been here, Jesus, this would not have happened. And so we blame God for everything that is going on wrong in our lives. But I want to tell you, saints, he allows it because at the end, he's going to get the glory. He always gets the glory. 
He may not come when you want him to. But guess what? He will be on time. So you may have lost the house. But guess what? You're going to get a better house. Maybe you lost the car. You're going to get a better car. You're going to live. And it's going to live again. Maybe you didn't have food that night. And you had to fast the night before. But in the morning, you'll get some food. Maybe you had to lose a loved one. Because maybe, just maybe, it was their time. And God was ready for them to come home. It was nothing you did wrong. But just maybe God wants to get glory out of what is going on around us. He always gets the glory. You know why? Because Romans 8 and 28 says, and we know that all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and who are called according to his purpose. Maybe, just maybe, he will come and do a miracle so that the people can know that he is really God. Maybe he has to show you that he's God. Because some of us have forgotten that he's God. And that he has the whole world in the palm of his hand. Maybe he has to show us that he's God. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Because sometimes we forget who's really giving you what you have. Maybe we forget who really woke you up this morning. Maybe, just maybe, we forget that he has all power. And that he's a great God. And that he can call things back to life. That he can raise the dead. Uh-huh. Maybe we forget. Remember the 12-year-old girl that died? And they called for Jesus. And when he got there, she was dead. She was sick when they came looking for Jesus. But when he got there, she was dead, just like Lazarus. And Jesus said, only believe to the Father. He's, they said, don't even come. She said, he said, no. He said, don't listen to him, daddy. Let's go. We're going to the house. And when he gets there, he puts out all the unbelievers. He puts out the mourners. He don't even take all the 12 disciples in with him. He only takes three. Peter, James, and John. And the mother. Because he needed some agreement. Somebody that's going to have faith and know that he's able to do exceedingly, abundantly above all the we can ask a thing. He's able to wake up a dead situation. He's able to turn a situation around. He's able to fix whatever is going wrong in your life. He's able. He's able. He's able. I come today to tell you that he's able. He told me to tell you that he's able. It might not look the way you want it to look. It's at the last moment. It's about to die, but he's able to call it back to life. Whatever your situation is, that marriage, that, that relationship, whatever it is, it looks like it's over. It looks like it's over. It's not over. The church is not over. They may not be coming like they used to go, but it's not over. Don't you leave. Don't you give up. And don't you quit. It's not over. He's a little late. But he's late on purpose, saints. He's late on purpose. Have you ever been late on purpose? Because you just didn't want to go so early. Because when you got there, you was going you to make a scene. You want to be noticed. Because when Jesus got there, he made a scene. And the scene was good. And when he got there, it was people standing all around. And he said, for the father, for the benefit of them, 
raised this man from the dead. For the benefit of the people that's standing around. I know you always hear me, God. But for the benefit of those that are standing around, show them who you are. And he said, Lazarus, come forth. Lazarus, he said, roll the stone away. Lazarus, come forth. He had to call his name. Because if he called, if he just said, come out, probably everybody in the grave would start coming out. But he called for Lazarus. He personally called Lazarus. He's personally calling your Lazarus today, right now. He's personally calling your situation. Come forth. Come out. Come back. Come back. And it don't take him to say three and four times. He said Lazarus one time. Lazarus heard him. Got up out of that grave and walked out. But listen, this is the part I like. This is the part I like. Lazarus came out and he had his grave clothes on. He was still wrapped up in, in, in cloth. He had his grave clothes on when he came out. But Jesus said, loose him and let him go. I come today to tell you that Jesus is about to loose your situation and let it go. Loose him and let it go. Loose her and let her go. So if you're tied up with grave clothes on, Jesus is telling me to tell you today, take the grave clothes off. Take them off. Take them off. I'm calling you forth today. Take the grave clothes off. And devil... Loose him and let him go. Loose her and let her go. Loose her finances and let him go. Loose her home and let him go. Loose his car and let him go. Loose their children and let them go. Loose them and let them go. That situation, whatever it may be, loose that job. Loose it right now. Let it go. It's been bound too long. Take off the gray clothes. And loose him. And let him go. Just a nugget. I love you. God loves you. I don't know who I'm talking to. But if I'm talking to you. Write me a message. If I'm talking to you. Share the video. If I'm talking to you, give a comment. Tell me where you're from. If I'm talking to you, share the video. Loose them and let them go. I'm about to lose it. If you don't loose me and let me go, you're going to be all right. You just been loosed. Share the video. I love you. God loves you. Have a blessed day until I come again.